could have uh, and just kind of died really quickly. Talking more about the players here, is, uh, Ross 16 and 5, Snapple 15 and 5, doing a lot of the heavy lifting, but it's not just them. M Bauer, CJPF, and Just Let It Happen have all had their moments, whereas on the cyborg side, everyone kind of chipping on on the same wavelength, but not enough to win these rounds. They're now at a deficit, but they are on the CT side, and we saw how dominant the Xenons were on the CT side, so maybe, maybe Cybers can pull something off. Cyclone, just making a lot of noise here. It is a 4A stack here, and Xenons just rushing B super late, assassinating with a molly, tosses that smoke, or that molly down. They have to run past it, but they hear one already past it. Maybe there was a gap in it, no one else took molly damage, Assassin hears all a lot of footsteps. It is a 5v5 retake. But CJPF gets a kill onto Cyclone. Assassin pushing up here. Gets a kill onto CJPF. Nice kill. Nice flick. Trying to see what more he can find here. A flash onto Assassin's. No hit. And Cat kills Ross. Nice one tap. And Bowers from the new box position. Gets a kill onto Dumpster Fire. Doesn't get the kill onto Cat there. It is now Snapple and just let it happen onto a 2v4, 2v3. TJ takes out Snapple. Just let it happen. Gets taken out by Cat. Wonderful retake by the cyborgs there. Three kills onto Cat and Assassin and TJ. Assassin really important. They're kind of tossing down oh. that molly. Oh, sorry. I didn't <laughs> I didn't see the defuse timer for a second there. Not worrying. No, uh, yeah, that was well done. I mean, even with the uh, four stack A and all five kind of rush B, that was they're still able to kind of pull it back, which is really nice. I mean, it was really interesting pistol strap from the Xenon Zars, though, if you... Notice the, uh, they were all just kind of sitting T-stairs waiting for someone to push for info, but they just wouldn't, which is kind of unusual because if you've heard anything about cyborgs, it, and if you're an elite player especially, you'll know that they like to press W a lot. So it's, it was really, I don't know, nice to see some, like a lot of discipline there, uh, just not kind of pushing while they were, uh, while the T's were just kind of holding for them. Went really fast here, all brackets, flashes, assassin gets pushed off the, the, the angle. Here's three footsteps, doesn't get one, doesn't even get yet. Yeah. And Bowers and Snapple flash, and Bowers on the double entry, just let happen with the trade. That's the A side taking down. Three already, three already down, and here we have CJPF onto the lurk here in library. Cat and Dumpster Fire will surely should not be ready for this, and they decide to back off. They want to keep the M4 alive. And Dumpster Fire wants to keep that armor for the next round. Maybe that MP9 in case they do decide to go faster. There's Xenon Sars. Just holding W, not letting go of that gas part. They want to end this map quickly so they can get on with it. I mean, it is a semifinals. They have a chance to play in the grand finals, and it's definitely something that a lot of people would love to, to work for. Yeah, and you're feeling good about this if you're Xenon Zars. I mean, because not only do they have a strong lead, but this is also, keep in mind, this is Cyborg's map pick, or at least I'm 90% sure it's Cyborg's map pick, which is, you know, this is... Cool. Uh, 11 6 hey. up. Enemy team has weak util. I mean, you're you're feeling good. We do see just let it die, or just let it happen, die to the bomb blast. Infernal bomb blast kind of, you know, I hate it so much. I hate the update, but <laughs> Volvo, please fix. Uh, CJPF did get taken down, though, by, I believe, Cat on the M4. And it is looking like a, just a hero, right, a hero, hero round for, for Cat and Dumpster Fire. And uh, Xenon Zars here. Just. On the full rifle round. Oh, just had it happen. Gets the first. But gets taken up by Cat. Cat gets a right, but it's down to low HP. Down to 12. You want to keep these rifles healthy as, as, as you can, especially because they do have the armor. They could swap it with dumpster fire, but that... Oh, they drop it to Cat. That's still down. Oh, he might have dropped it. Oh, TJ! It's timing! Will he... I mean, the trigger spin misses out. He took off the silencer of his USP. If I was, I mean, if I were his teammates, I'd be thinking he's throwing. B side open. AGPF trying to make sure there's no one here in these, you know, little ratty angles, any off angles. But uh, Cat here noticed something was wrong. Walking towards coffins. They are partially to go for a big take here, but repositioning to coffins. Takes a swing, doesn't see one, but Ross takes out TJ onto the flank. Now they know it is a B or heavy B lean. Maybe TJ didn't see more than one, but Cat's gonna confirm it with Util being tossed out. Gets a dink onto Snapple. No more damage done through the smoke. CJPF making space here. We smoke off the coffins. It is a 3v4 retake and it can happen, but. Alright, kills M Bowers and gets traded out by Ross. 
dumpster fire through the smoke onto Ross. It is a 2v2 with low HP on the Xenon Zars here. If the Cybrix can close it out here, it'll be good for their economy for, for their economy. Yeah, I mean it, it was interesting to see the T's kind of hold off on a B push just so they didn't run into the rifles, but I mean it's and this low HP against two rifles. It is a fake, but Snapple oh. gets killed. CJPF onto the refrag. CJPF with the 14 HP gets a double kill for the clutch. When Xenon's ours, their 12th round on this T side here on Inferno. Yeah, that was well done in that post plan. I mean, you, you never expect two people dark. So once he gets that one kill, uh, even though you know you do see CJ with low health, it's they're they're not looking for him at all so bad boys are kicking themselves right there they had the nice eco win there it was a, a hero round but they had it in the bag and they fumbled cjpf snap onto the max tip a cat through ugh, excuse me through banana kills cjpf that is one of the heavy hitters of the xenon czars here but ross still here in the middle trying to pick a fight here nothing's being given banana completely open no one controls it but they're walking back Making sure that it's completely clear, no utility being tossed out. Tossing bomb, make sure it doesn't get lost in no man's land. Utility being, utility being uh, fumbled around here, making sure that everyone can toss a good set of utility, but standard play here from the cyborgs here, two on B. Exit coming in, assassin fully blind, doesn't budge. Starts spamming through the smoke. Gets taken onto 20, cat, assassin gets taken through the smoke, and Bowers onto cat. Double entry onto the B site, 3v3 retake once again for the cyborgs and once again these post punch have always been strong by the xenon ever since the second half started one in dark one in new box and uh one in church or deep in that past that that's that smoke and tj trying to see what he can find spam through there gets mollied off molly or they get molly banana gets mollied off ross takes out tj tj did see him couldn't click fast enough ross repositions back home Second orange just gets peaked by just a little half, and these crossfires are being super well played by the Xenon Czars. Yeah, they're getting that bait and switch on perfectly, and uh, you know you see uh, the player cough and just fall back as soon as he gets the kill. So they're looking for him, but they they know they're still too on site, and there's just it didn't really feel like there's anything ATO could do there, honestly. You do opt to go for a uh, a light buy here, but TJ and Cyclone fully investing. They want to see what they can do with these MP9s. They do have a good B spawn. Oh, Ross gets takes a lot of utility damage. But Cat's still here. Oh, Ooh. Assassin eats that nade. But Cat's still here. They haven't heard anything from top car. Maybe Cat can get a, a nice trigger discipline kill here, but they are spamming through the wood. Hopefully, he doesn't get tagged through it and they don't hear it. They are leaving. Oh, that's just completely mollied out. Or. Oh, I cannot speak. He just gets completely destroyed. But TJ onto the refrag onto M Bowers here. Middle completely being fought over. But Assassin has a feeling it is going to come back B. They are posting for another B take here. They are walking back. Bomb up front. There's a good read from Xenon Zars because you know, the, the only person at B right now is a USP with no armor. Uh, and A site has two SMGs plus a Deeg. So. If they can get this going fast enough, oh, but they're all right. The CTs are already rotating in. This caution might have backfired on them a little bit if they decide to go forth with it. It's a, a very, very light rotation, though, as uh, we see Dumpster Fire playing deep from CT, not even playing mm -hmm. up close towards Coffins or towards CT, towards uh, the site here. Not alone. CJP mm -hmm. gets going to TJ Ross. Walking out the apartments may start making noise now. Clears up. Ooh. Both pit positions, spots him in graveyard, and that is A-Site taken out. That is Hunter Fire left alone, gets taken out, had no chance, not even worth it. Now, 14-6 for the Xenon Zars here, and they, the Cyborgs do have a buy. Yeah, they don't want to play for OT, they want to get this comeback going right now. And, as we all know, it's never over. I've, I've lost, well... Long-time viewers of CSU will know I've lost a 14-5 uh, mm -hmm. map in the uh, playoffs of Season 6, so anything is possible, but uh, they've got to start now. Large passage utility does take a little bit, but CJPF and just let it happen, do lose a bunch. But M. Bowers gets tagged to the wall. 
hat, trying to see if we can find Assassin through the wall again, and Bowers cannot catch a break. Ross gets think through the smoke. That is Banana taken care of. And Snapple on the time, he swings out short, but doesn't know there's one on site, and in the pit, this is a nice cross right here. A Snapple cannot get one. Dumpster Fry gets doubles up here. They know TJ is still here on site with the FAMAS. Ross holding for the pit swing. That is bombed down. Just let it happen. Holding for it. Sees it. Doesn't get the refrag, but Ross gets to kill onto Dumpster Fire. Ross onto the 1v3 clutch. Baby tosses the op out. Knows off his better judgment. He will not win this. But you can never give up on yourself. <laughs> Trying to find a better gun besides the Glock, the pea shooter. And if you notice, Cyclone uh, almost, you know, could have caused his team a lot there by kind of playing up on Boiler so far and just kind of spamming the smoke. Um, that could have been a huge issue if uh, his teammates on, you know, in pit and on site didn't trade him out quick enough. Um, but, you know, they still managed to get it done. And uh, Ross here, mm, it looks like he's... Yeah. Looking to maybe do some eco damage here. Maybe he can find any picks here. They are they are all playing back on site, but we have here uh, TJ trying to see if anyone on the lurk. If Ross decides to lurk there, but Ross now lets the CTs know where his positions are or where his position is. Has to fake it out. Make them keep them on their toes. Knew knew he doesn't have any time there. Decides to just save the AK forty seven. Yeah, and I think that's a perfectly fine choice by Ross here. I mean, you know, you got. Plenty of rounds to kind of get things going again. Uh, just kind of hang back, see what happens. And on I mean, that even... note, we see Cyclone with that P90. Sorry to cut you off, but the P90 coming out. Cyclone better be going fast with this one. Ross flashing to mid here. Cyclone pushing down fast mid. Does not. Get... Oh, but gets taken up by Ross. Ross saw it coming from a mile away. P90 does not do any damage here. It is now a 4v5 for the CTs here for the cyborgs. Excuse me. And if you're down 714, you never really want to give put your team in a position where they are down a man. Yeah, that was a I guess maybe charitably say that was a bold play from Cyclone, but uh, if you have a P90, what else are you gonna do? You know. Definitely could have been a miss but but Cyclone looking to have a very quiet game here. Uh, 22 rounds have been played, five and twenty-two, but Ross managed to make his way through arches. Gets the timing, but Assassin watching it. Assassin was watching. They calmed it out. They knew full well that Arches was open, and Assassin made the right play there to hold his flank. TJ making his way down mid. They're going to catch a timing here. Clearing out all mid. Is he going to be ready for the fight? They're not. Snapple gets, they gets the kill, and they're full w it up here. And Bowers trying to hold for the motor rotation. There is only one on the on the, on the the A side here, and that's Dumpster Fire. Gets the kill to M. Bowers. Could get, he cannot get a second, just let it happen, gets the refrag, and that is A side taken down, but Assassin's is already here, trying to see what he can do, maybe get a kill through the smoke, and that is a scuffed Moto smoke, so it can still happen. Post plants have been, like, once again, have always been strong for the Xenon Zars, and as Zyra has mentioned before, they do the uh, the bait and switch where they force a player to, to hold one angle and have the other players uh, peek from a different one. Fast on this retake, making a lot of noise. Only a molly onto Assassin's here. And only a kid onto Cat. Assassin is already falling back. They're calling it off. Cat may be looking for a uh, couple of exits here. Let's see what he can do. Oh, it's spotted. Gets a kill onto Snapple. And he's not going to survive here. Remember the bomb radius for Inferno. Cat gets taken out. Maybe Overstate is welcome there. Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, my God. That's really tough for these... For ATO heading in this kind of match point situation. Um... I mean, obviously they're going to buy everything they can, but everything they can buy is not all that much. You'll see full util kit on Assassin, but only one diffuse kit uh, for dumpster fire. Um, and keep your eye on that. That's going A. Um, and I don't know, there's a lot of early B presence, but it does look, you know, it does look like the Xenazos are just kind of going to default it out for a minute here. They don't want to Defaulting take the for them. Round. Defaulting has worked for them. They have been getting these opening picks and running with it. They forced the CTs to kind of rotate off uh, away from them. You know, just giving all this pressure up. Had or Snapple gets to go into TJ. That is over on the A site, I believe. Yeah, but Cyclone gets a refrag, and that is a smoke down. Cyclone 
I said he was having a quiet game, but maybe you don't need Frax to have an impact. You know, trying to face through the smoke decides to go against it. Gets tagged through the smoke and they definitely heard that. Playing in front of that smoke there. Can't do much about it. They should hear this. There is only one player on the B site and that is Assassin with the AWP holding from that CT angle. Maybe, just maybe, they give him these 1v1 picks. But two more rotating and that Cyclone and Cat coming out to the B site here. And Bowers gets flashed in. That's, that is noise made. And that is confirmation. Oh, spots the barrel. Will he take the shot? Assassin's known to be a good opera, but he is 8 and 14. Doesn't see much here. Maybe calls for the fake. Tries to smoke it off. Scopes away at the wrong time, and now they're pushing past that smoke. Holding it. Snapple just making noise here. Cyclone through the new box position. Takes out CJPF. Gets two! Gets taken up by M. Bowers, but. With the MP9, close quarters, you can only ask for two, but Ross onto Cat, an overpeaking Cat, 10 seconds on the clock here. Ross sees him through the smoke assassins, that's assassin down. It is now dumpster fire in the 1v2 clutch to keep his team in it. Spots went out, gets a tag onto him, that's both players low. Ross gets taken out, he knows he's set first oranges. Swings out, Ooh. gets the kill, keeps his team into it. Whoa. Wonderful clutch by dumpster fire. Yeah. That was good stuff. I mean, even, I don't know, the kind of the MP9 there just definitely over delivers. Uh, you don't expect to get to there, but um, I mean, it obviously keeps them in it. So can't really complain. Um, yeah. And you will see, see Xenon Zara is kind of run back onto an eco here because uh, they want to get this closed as soon as possible. And that means saving here and buying everything they can for the next round. Just shout out to Ross there, just completely carrying, putting the same on his back, 26 and 9. <laughs> but keep in mind, like I said, once again, the first half, it's not just Ross. It's a Snapple and Bowers, but then Bowers gets gets spotted from Top Banana. Cat gets taken out by Tech Nines. The cat was over peeking there. It's, you know, bit off more than he can chew. Xenon Zara is looking to push up mid, going fast. Cyclone gets the first. Doesn't get the second CJPF onto a double kill there. To opposite side of the entry, but TJ and Dumpster Fire hold it down. CJP or yeah, CJPF, you know, gets Dumpster Fire onto the triple kill, excuse me. Onto that amazing A side hold. They decided to go fast towards the end there and it kind of faltered for them. And like we mentioned earlier, actually the loss bonus wasn't as good as I thought it was. So Xenon's always are going to be missing out on a little bit of util here, but they still got a ton to contend with. And uh, Cyclone, as you can see, doesn't have any util. Dumpster Fire doesn't have quite as much as he could. So it's still very, very much winnable for the team. Apple gets taken out by Cyclone. Cyclone onto the double on Banana. Or, I mean, onto the apartment, sorry. And, and Bowers onto the refrag, onto TJ. Pushing mid here, trying to get more space taken away. CGPF onto Cat. CGPF onto Cyclone. Oh. That's A site oh fully weakened. CJPF onto the triple. <laughs> That's B site completely open. Dumpster fire onto the 1v3. If they go into him, does he speed one? Gets the first. Now they know he's on A. That is CJPF just running up banana here. Yep. And just let it happen here. Trying to cut off the rotations. Here's the footsteps. Gets him through the smoke. Wonderfully played by the Xenon Zars there. Made it very close. And CJPF, just an insane triple kill. Once again, going back on that, Ross is not the only one doing uh, all the work there. Any closing statements, Ira? I mean, nope. that was just... Going back, but... Uh, I don't know. The Xenon Zars just kind of plowed through him on that last round. I don't know what to say. <laughs> CJPF just taking out three, two on B, one on A. That was just... I don't know. That seemed like that was it. Uh, but that is it for uh, the first map. Remember, it is a best of three. It is the semifinals for Elite CSC Season 9. We'll see you back here for the second map. I'd rather be a dreamer
think about when you're born into a fire. Let them burn, let them burn it out.
save me from the side of myself I cannot look away About to crash into my face Just another day on the shelf Welcome back, everyone. Season 9 CSE Elite Semifinals here on Overpass. I am Nexus, and I'm here joined by Zyra. All right. Nice to be back for map two here. And we got Overpass now. And uh, I don't know. Overpass is an interesting map. Giant map. I'm not a big fan myself, but a lot of people love it in CSE. And I know the GM of the Xeon Zars also loves it. So. Maybe influence them just a little bit there. But I believe we should be seeing Cyborg starting on the CT side, as it is the Xenozar's map pick. And it looks like it. And uh, let's see what we got for the pistol round here. We got... Let's see, four armor, nade flash. That's pretty standard stuff going on here. And it looks like they're going to be playing 2A3B. Which it's a normal setup, but for pistol, you sometimes see people do you know one A four B and have the fountain guy just kind of fall back. But uh, he's up fast monster push here. But TJ sees one, gets taken out. Just let it happen. It's the headshot. Just let it happen. Holding W gets a second kill. That's CJP off onto dumpster fire in the heaven position. We have assassin here in graffiti. Gets taken out by Ross. Just complete overhaul. By this, by the Zedon here, and we have Wolf and two twenty four K and Toxic. You may be wondering how to cycle and Cat, and it was just a a miss a miscommunication. Just let it happen. Not to Wolf and twenty four K and to Toxic three K. Just let it happen. That Please. was that was quick. <laughs> Very quick. Um, yeah, I mean that was well done. I mean uh, that's that's why. I mean that's part of why you often see a lot of people stack four B on pistol round is because. You do tend to see those kinds of B rushes. Um, but let's see. It looks like it's going to be a mostly full eco here. Just kind of five stacking A, seeing what happens. Ooh. You know, he gets 
gets tagged here a little bit, down to 66, but tosses a nade in return, gets M. Bowers down to uh, 68 HP back. They are stacking this bathroom position. There are three here, a P250 and a USP. And one more into the bathroom. B side completely open. Toxic gets cushed, doesn't get a frag for it. M. Bowers still here making a lot of noise. What we have over here, I believe that's Ross walking up long here, gets spot, spots out Toxic. Knows he's there, Ross with the AK, Wolfen takes out M. Bowers, but that is just a MAC-10, Ross onto Toxic. They do have a couple AKs here, just let it happen, Snapple, things falling apart, well, I mean, it is an eco, so you really can't ask for much, but CJPF gets stinked. And Ross for the cleanup onto the double, triple kill from Ross, it is an eco, but we will give it to them. Yeah, and that was, I mean, <laughs> despite the 5 stack A, and it didn't really seem like you get much done there, uh, I mean, you do see... The initial kill onto, I want to say it was M. Bowers, but, it, you know, again, it's no armor, all pistols, not really much. Oh, accidental Ooh. knife. Oh, a rookie mistake here. This is not face it, fellas. Do not knife your teammates in CSC, please. Wolfen's okay. On to this uh, connected position, trying to find a fight there, but doesn't seem much toxic. Peaks out long on the time, he gets the kill onto Ross, but gets squished through the tree and gets taken out through the tree. CJPF knows his wall bangs, decides to just not care about what he cannot see, he must kill. And Bowers onto Wolfen 24k into the bathrooms and just let it happen, kills TJ onto the connected position. Mac 10 singing assassin and dumpster fire into the 2v4, split off completely. Bathroom's control completely vacated, but they are taking it again, they're flashing into it. Assassin has a lot of work to do here as an anchor. In this anchor position, no utility, but only that M4. Trying to make sure that he, he can get whatever it is. Needs to be done, but the rotation's coming in, they should be playing together here. It's better to hold the site with two than to hold it with one and retake by one. Execute coming in. Assassin fully blinded, doesn't get the swing. Gets the first kill, missed on the guy long, sees him. There's a frag and gets two! Snap onto the refrag. Now it is looking, looking, it is looking doable for dumpster fire. Trying to face through the smoke there. Snap on CJPF. No, what's going on? One of the flower pots, one truck, and they're both going back towards, or they're go, both going back towards flowers here. Playing this little crossfire. The bait and switch set up once again here. Dumpster fire. Trying to see what he can do. Playing on his angles. Pots one. Misses the first kill. Doesn't get this. Gets the first. Nice taps. Here's a second. Can't swing fast enough. CJPF. Nice double kill there. This is a nice try from the CTs, but you know, in a 2v4, it's the you know, odds are stacked against you. Assassin does about as well as he can to get those two kills, uh, those first two kills. But um, you know, once you're in a 1v2 with a FAMAS in your hand, you're not you're not feeling too great about it. Eco push by or yeah, eco push by Cyborgs here. Three up found already with Deagles and five sevens. Gets they get. Flashed up at Ross, opening pick onto Toxic there. Playgrounds control completely taken by the Xenons here. Ross has been a monster on this op, on Inferno, the very first map. We'll see what he can do on Overpass here. Still three he or two here in the bathroom's position with these Deagles up close. I mean, Deagle now two shots or three shots to the body, but if you're close enough, you can do double shot. But DJ, oh, kill onto Snapple there. That is, that is the lurk there. Gets taken out, there's a free AK-47 for TJ right there. Falling back, making sure to keep that gun alive, and Wolfen gets a kill on to just let it happen. Maybe spots another? Doesn't get a second. Wolfen here on long bathrooms, gets taken out by CJPF, that is long completely taken, but it is a 3v3 re or 3v3 fight onto the A site here. Only one AK onto Assassin. Does he not have better re uh, better weaponry? Dumpster fire doesn't get one. This is the first one. Gets the first. Almost catches a second down to 12 HP. Assassins kills M power CJPF. 1v1 clutch here. Assassin versus C uh, CJPF. No armor onto Assassins. Playing around the smoke here. Bomb, so needs to go down, but HPF is long. Assassins repositioning towards bank. Bomb is still down on site here. CJ would have to get another clutch here. 3k to solidify, like he did in the pistol round. He's walking backwards into bank. Gets taken out from behind. A nice eco win by the cyborgs here on overpass. Yeah, that was well done. I mean, it did not look good for them when, uh, you know, after those first couple of kills. But the fact that the T's walked right into their just three stack on A was just, I mean, just what more can you ask for? Uh, you know, they 
you know, they they aren't able to get the you know first couple kills, but you know when the T's are that hungry for eco kills, like you just gotta love it for your CTs. Knock the pistols here and Cyborg taking fast short control here, not letting the T's or not letting Xenon get comfortable here on the B side, forcing them to funneling them towards the A side. A lot of utility being thrown by Cyborgs. And Xenon already fast up long here. Ross already in the Bathurst position. Bathurst completely vacated. Just let it happen, gets tagged down to 15. It is over on shore and they're going faster. They're making a lot of noise. You're going to hear the rotations here. Toxic should see one gets shot at. Notices it, but doesn't try to frag it out. Wolf in 24k gets the first pick onto Ross here. There are more players in the Bathurst positions. They're trying to sell the fake. They're maybe trying to show them that, hey, there's a, um, me making all this noise to work out. Everyone's sacked here in Bathroom's position, but Toxic pushing into Long here. Maybe going towards Long, Bathroom to funnel them in there. We have TJ, bottom con here, maybe in short. Toxic completely encapsulating them. Here's a utility being pulled. Has a timing on here. Starts making noise, misses the kill. And now they know he's here. CJP of no scope. Run. Headshot, but doesn't matter. Wolf in 24k onto the double, but just let it happen. Just holding W, not stopping. Almost gets a second. Yeah, again, you see, I mean, even on the last map, these eco rounds are getting pretty expensive for the <laughs> defending team here. Um, you know, you can't you can't be too careful when the enemy team has pistols, no matter what. Uh, you know, it's always something to get those eco frags, but oof, playing with fire, and we see that there, like that. If uh, you know the guy pushing, if the T pushing the dumpster gets another kill there, that's Totally. Ooh. Oh. Again. Absolute stack here. It, it is down to pistols again. Just a lot of noise being made. Too fast to even comprehend. 2v2 situation. Dumpster fire and assassin versus Snapple and just let it happen. For this eco win for the Xenon Zars. And no matter what you say, this is a win for the Xenon Zars as they did take out three players and if they take out another, it's bad economy for the cyborgs here. CZ side economy is definitely something to not toy with. They are separated. Dumpster Fire and Assassins. You know, Dumpster Fire here and Graffiti and Assassins, I think, playing from Heaven or by Truck, I believe. And uh, you never really want to have a lone defender here, but Assassin onto the op. Completely missed it. So he is good for one here. Gets the first, can reposition, swings out, doesn't see one. Gets Ooh. a second. Nice shot. That round relied on Assassin there to get the double. Even getting one there was good, but now. You have the opportunity to get tr traded out there and assassin onto the double makes sure that his team has a secure win. But once again, like I said, you know, three taken down. Already a win for the Xenon there. Yeah, it's, again, like we just said last round, you you got to be careful when you know the enemy team is going to be on a low ego. Um, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's really odd seeing a lot of deaths to pistols here. Uh, you just got to be more careful, you know. But, um, ballsy, ballsy nade by Wolf in 24k there. He was getting spam, but decided to just toss a nade anyway. Could have gone headshotted through the smoke. That I know that is definitely very tilting, but Ross onto the op here. Trying to see anything on middle, but no one's here. Toxic up by, uh, by pushing up long here. Taking all this space, Ross alone here. Holding for it. Will he get the peak Toxic? Swinging here, slow peeking it. No walking it. Gets the kill. Misses out on the kill. Ross onto 4 HP. That is toxic down, that is bathrooms completely open. But we have Wolf of 24k here playing on this weird off angle by Flowers here. Decides to up back, fall back. He's going into the bathrooms here, yeah. Re aggressing. Gonna run to just let it happen, gets the kill onto him. Nice. But, you know, fast up long here. They know there's one front bat. They don't see it. They knew the toxic is a long player. And they know he was taken down. TJ, you're in short, making sure that they can't push up to. Up to to be here and that causes the rotations for the cyborgs to go heavy on a wolfen wait does he hear him he's one coming out bathrooms that's that will take him down that's the bomb oh. tj onto the double they try to fall back here and ross onto the 1v4 decides to save it but on 4 hp cts know this they don't have the economy to, to hunt for it i think i think they should zara what do you think uh yeah no this i don't know this is a tough call i mean it's not a big deal to just lose one rifle because with CTs the thing is is I think it's easier to 
uh, save as a CT, or not save, sorry, uh, kind of have a, a weaker buy as a CT. Uh, you know, just having a... Oh my god, Frost is taking out after time. time. Use the op. Oh, he's $850. Oh my god. This now is that a is not something I would advise. <laughs> Peaking once We're time's expired. I mean, a lot of people do it, but you gotta be real careful and real confident. <laughs> um, especially when you have low health like that. But, I mean, yeah, it's just going to be everybody else has pistol buys and he, or pistol armor. He just has pistol. So it's not too much of a setback. So fast beat here. TJ hears it. Oh, oh my god, Ross already deep up. And cut out with util. Molly gets tossed out. Assassin's dumpster fire that's taken out. Looking only for a bomb plan doesn't happen. TJ PF gets one. Doesn't get the second. Cannot readjust fast enough. Dumpster fire and assassin. They're onto the double, but they did lose Toxic and TJ. Now... Their economy isn't built up. TJ maybe, but Toxic does need to drop here. And yeah, I might sound like a broken record here, but you got to be careful with your util. Uh, I mean, you know, I know I'm someone who always gets called out with my mollies out, <laughs> but um, you know, it's, it's something you got to be aware of, especially when people, you know, people aren't going to be stopping if they're, if they're pistol rushing. They're not stopping no matter what. So. Uh, you shouldn't be begging on that molly to stop them. Well, there. Toxic oh. pushes up to party here, gets taken, takes out Ross, but M. Bowers onto the trade onto TJ. That is a one for one trade on opposite sides. M. Bowers onto the double. Wolf in 24k, takes out CJ, CJPF. That is B site weak, but there's still two more here. Assassin and Dumpster Fire. B site is completely taken, or is completely stacked here. And we have Toxic walking back down, going for the stack, gamble stack B, and they hear the utility. Dumpster Fire is here. Will he push past the smoke? Snapple going for the plant. Doesn't push past the smoke. Bomb is planted down here. Money being spent. No, there's one tour short. Trying to face with the smoke. Doesn't see much. Walking up. Do they know he's here? Will they go for the boost here? They do have the opportunity to boost here. And they will. He sees one's going towards wood wall. Toxic takes him out. Snapple onto the first. Onto the second. No one's being stuck. Oh onto the God. third. Snapple with an insane play through the smoke. Yeah, after you see that double swing monster from the two CTs, like that really good double swing to take out the monster player, uh, you expect that they would be more mindful of the other angles. But, you know, the boost on the sandbags, you don't see that all the time. So, uh, you know, props to Snapple, not only for, you know, getting the spot, but also getting that those really nice shots, especially against the guy in the smoke diffusing. I mean, that's, that's round winning right there. Yeah, Cyborg's economy is looking fairly weak now. They do smoke up that Molly for two ramp, but takes the fight anyway. Wolf in 24k and Toxic takes two, but just let it happen. Molly is Wolf in 24k out. Ross Ooh. onto the kill to Toxic. That is a two for two trade here. Once again, opposite side of the maps, and that is B site completely locked down. That's A, almost free. They're walking back. Minimal utility. Yeah, they're walking back, and they don't know what space the CTs have here, the Cyborg. And they are rotating back here, leaving dumpster fire here in the dump or in the uh, barrels position, going for this uh, one for one trade or for a, a bait setup here. Trying to their cyber to use the uh, the xenon's tricks against them. Yeah, they are walking back here, be completely open. Just left onto dumpster fire. This read is completely wrong. Xenon's ours. They gambled it and they realized that they can play the rotations there. They have to clear these angles correctly. This is not looking good for dumpster fire. Oh, but a step was made. He hears him. They call for the rotates. Yeah, knife out. Dumpster fire. Thinks Snapple. Gets the first kill, gets traded out. That's Snapple dead. Or Snapple still low on HP. Nade it tossed out. Assassin's here. Watch your friend cross into the smoke. No one's here. But gets mollied out. Goes towards graffiti. Tries to spam under heaven. TJ gets taken out. They know no assassin is in graffiti, Ooh. but gets taken out through a wall. It's now onto Snapple here. Low he HP, he knows low. it. Pistol out. Trying to get this done as fast as possible, but where did Snapple head off to? Dean Jay. It's on oh, site. Four by three. I swear we saw him around the pillar. Oh no. Four by three moment, and that puts Cyborgs into a weird buy here. Maybe even just like a half buy. Yeah. We see Toxic just buying the Deagle. Insane round played by the Xenon Zars. 5-5, five, five, looking like a more competitive half. But we know how good the Xenon Zars are on CT side with Snapple and uh and I believe M Bowers onto the op. Or no, Snapple and Ross, excuse me, onto the double op setup on CT side. Maybe we'll see it here. Galil onto CJPF. Nice widely spread defaults here, but B side's completely open. 
Toxic takes out Man Bowers. Ross gets a trade out to Toxic there, but is left alone here with the op. He's gonna be ready for all these A players, I don't think. TGPF gets. Oh, Ooh. TJ gets a second. Dumpster fire to a second. Just what happened gets a kill on the free frag onto dumpster fire. CJPF onto TJ. It is an eco round. Wolf in 24k in a 1v2 clutch, and he's going towards the beast site. Maybe opting for a gamble stack here or trying to cut off the rotations, but CJPF and Just Let It Happen are still in playground. If Wolf in 24k can speed this up, he can catch them on the timing. If they spend too much time in playground, they will get shot from behind. And they're already making their move. Clearing out these angles up long here, Wolf in 24k. Seeing what he can do here. Picks up an AK, no armor. Sees one. This is a spray. Now they know he's behind him. Knife out, they're running up towards that A site. 46 seconds left. They can definitely make it to the B site if they want to trick out Wolf in 24k as he is trying to trail behind them. Knife out, but he can't push past the smoke because he thinks there could be another. Yep. Decides to span through, so now they know they have a free plant here. Completely safe. CJPF. Yeah, no it's a bit so that happened planted not sure where it's planted i believe it is planted for the bank so they are doubling up here but wolf in 24k decides to save yeah no kit no armor 1v2 uh i mean you just no really really no other choice but um honestly that I, again <laughs> so many times we've seen this you got three kills with just deegs so you're not too unhappy about that you lose around but uh but every both teams' ecos are being kept pretty honest here. Oh my oh. god! Both of them die of the bomb. So t again, like they they're not going to be able to buy an op unless one of them goes glass cannon here. Even so, I don't think it's it's worth it. As we know that Ross, once again, he is a very strong uh, opper, but you can't really take away the rifling powers of him, Bauer, Snapple, or CJPF, or even just let it happen. I don't think it's worth it to just give to give Frost the op just because he's you know kind of crazy with it. Unless he was pulling up simple or Zywell numbers, but <laughs> it's a team effort here. And they will be going for rifles and more util. I oh, but Wolf in 24k. He, Wolf in 24k into the connector peak. We've seen it many times throughout this uh, first half. You're just going for that Y swing. He doesn't really see much, but gets the first pick here now. And Bowers baited into here, but the peak doesn't see much. They know Toxic likes to push up here. Doesn't see anything here, but oh, gets stinked. Toxic with a late peak and gets taken out by uh, CJPF. Nice re a nice trade there by the Xenon stars. Now, so we have here Wolf in 24k in bathrooms up by the Vider. Doesn't the, maybe doesn't hear it? Yeah, doesn't hear it, or maybe he's just playing for a nice refrag here. Oh, dumpster fire gets spotted out by Ross. Ross sees him, but has to reload the A1S 21 or 20 bullets. You hate to see it, and they're running back. Ooh. CJPF onto the onto the swing onto dumpster fire. TJ caught with his knife out. Ross gets the kill. They can still walk back. Twenty Wolf and twenty four K is here to stop any rotations. But so is uh, so is Assassin. Here by front connect, they have to commit to this long run. Wolf twenty four K has all the stopping power he needs to make sure they can't make it to the site. But decides to go. CJPF insane headshot clears it out. Assassin one v three. He has the cross, but they've already crossed the site. Planted back dice here. Assassin trying to make sure no one's on any of these ratty angles. No kit, no utility, and he's still going for it. Gets spotted out, gets snap but that's a 13, tries to spam through the box. Doesn't get a CJP up onto a triple, maybe even a 4k. Assassin, Ross takes the 4k away from CJPF, but that is a CJPF entry there. Insane play by CJPF. And what it seemed to me is that the cyborgs weren't really playing together. I mean, they just kind of gave uh, the T's... 3v1s really <laughs> um you know they, they had the one kind of sitting on site and then they had tj kind of playing up behind them with his knife out um which again i think just kind of a bit over eager and uh then they just have a guy sitting in front bathrooms that cj just kind of clocks but um oh all that utility damage game. by tj and dumpster fire assassin gets taken out toxic gets one this is looking like a b stack it is a b stack and bowers kill cj Dumpster fire onto the MP9. Moving 24 key here. Wow. This is insanely fast round. Insane fast B push here. Snapple and TJP have closed it out, not, but not without the help of M Bowers there. Fast round. 8 5, eight, five looking to be a, you know, maybe even a 10 5 half once again, as we saw in Inferno. Yeah, I mean, Cyborg is lucked out there by having, uh, you know, all five of Gas be going to the same site as they were stacking on their sort of. 
uh, interesting buy there, but uh, it still doesn't exactly pan out. You know, they don't really have the util. They don't really have the... I don't know. Didn't feel like they really had the coordination to kind of pull it back, despite that those uh, advantageous numbers. That utility, CJPF Ooh. pushes in, gets traded out. Ross, it's a trade, but dumpster fire gets, gets it gone to CJPF, and Assassin's here looking like another heavy B lean. But M. Bowers is already upside here. Tries to smoke off heaven. Gets it. That's a nice, interesting lineup for those of you at home watching. You know. Oh, gets pushed by Toxic, but they have to bomb down. Snap, Sapple. Can barely get two there. If he got a second one, there would have been insane post plans. That was a 1v2 clutch. Unfortunately, could not get it done. But that is a bomb plant down, and the score will be 8 6 in favor of Xenon Zars there. Yeah, and th that was a great hold from Cyborgs. Like, you saw just the first, the swing out monster, which is always, I don't know, the, not always, but that can often be quite deadly. I mean, if you're, if you know they're coming for a B rush, if you have someone swing monster, they're probably going to get at least one, uh, you know, if you're using your util correctly. And then they just pound them with nades, and I don't know, they're just able to shut down that push so quickly. Even though they get the bomb plant, they still, uh, you know, as we can see, the last round here, they're gonna have three Mac tens. That's not what you want for your last round on T side. Oh, oh! I would believe Snapple had a, a a kill through the through the wall there, but no, I was wrong. And Toxic onto the double kill in connector. This is the Molly. Molly is himself off, but is taking this space here. Now it's down to the Mac ten of M Bowers and the AK of Snapple. Excuse me, and Snapple we know is a very strong rifler and a nice secondary opper. So do not count him out. And maybe we'll, we'll see CJP levels of uh, entry here, 2v4. The Toxic's already on the flank, this is not looking good. Oh! oh spots him out, gets a kill, Snapple gets a refrag, it's down to a 1v3. Oh! But TJ, he's already here in T spawn, he's gonna hear these footsteps. If Snapple tries to toss a fake here, decides to not do it. TJ hears the footsteps, catches a timing here, gets taken up from behind. Yeah, those fast flanks really tore him apart right there. Uh, I mean, things before the, I, I feel like, and correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like we haven't seen too many fast flanks from the CTs, which usually, again, like I said, the last map, cyborgs like to push everything if possible. But I mean, last map, it felt like they're playing pretty nervous. Um, it's because they were already, once they got on CT, they were already, you know, in a losing, uh, position, but, um, I mean, it's good to see them still have that confidence to just make these big pushes. Uh, and again, the man advantage is part of that, but still. Um, if you if you let people kind of double up and just kind of storm a site 2v4, there's still a chance that they can get through. But if you get those fast flanks in, then they don't really have a chance. Yeah, I mean, the competitive half here, 8-7, we did see a 10-5, I believe, 10-5 scoreline on Inferno. But mm -hmm. Xenon's ours picks, you know, very competitive. They had seven rounds CT or T-side looking pretty good but cjpf gets a first kill onto wolfen and assassin gets attacked from back and bowers from behind p2k gets gushed through the wall toxic gets refrag to just let it happen but it's now down to a 2v4 and no utility left over snap can make out a 1v4 snap takes out toxic and it's now down to now now down to dumpster fire excuse me gets the kill gets the first kill onto cjpf but it's not attacked down to 18 hp maybe he can get a bomb plant down bomb Opposite plant, fakes it out, doesn't get the kill to Snapple there. Snapple, ice hold. That's an insane B hold, B hold there. It was really well done. And it was surprising to see that, that they weren't able to figure out where M. Bowers was. Because he was just kind of sp like, taking people down from connector, but it took them a few seconds to figure out where he was shooting from. And uh, that was even with using the P2K instead of the uh, silencer. Um, but yeah, just well done from gas they do you know the table 4b pistol and it you know works out really well toxic onto the hero galil here and uh not and not much of a hero gun that you would normally see in a regular play but maybe you can get some done but ambar gets caught out with his nade out but gets a reef gets a kill onto dumpster fire and gets a kill onto the assassin pulls up the secondary cjpf gets takes out wolf in 24k toxic on the refry and just let it happen trades it back down to tj and they know where he was front bathrooms bomb is down still in t-spawn see what tj can do here no no upgraded pistols down for him i believe maybe a couple ops for the uh quiet drop 
Doesn't get it. <laughs> Misses it out. Picks up a full moss. Here's one jumping. Trying to catch one out. Nothing going on so far. Maybe he can catch a time in here. Snapple here. But he's not expecting just let it happen. Yeah. <laughs> Look his time. Yeah. Snapple took his time. Or TJ took his time there onto the kill for Snapple. He saw his body, wanted to get a clean shot, and I can't really blame him there. Sometimes uh, the FAMAS spray isn't very uh, friendly to us uh, CS players. Yeah, you, you never want to trust FAMAS unless you, you're well, behind them, your crosshair is on them. There's no chance in the world you can miss, and then even then, sometimes you still miss. Uh, but yeah. We will I mean, see the uh, full buy both teams. Or sort of a you know bonus round from the CTs and full buy from the Ts here, more or less. Yeah, but Toxic and TJ. Downs already half HP already. Assassin can take it down by M Bowers. That is an AK-47 down. But Toxic gets to kill onto Ross and TJ doubles up with them or doubles up on M Bowers. That is connector taking a very important point of rotation here for the Ts. Trying to see if anyone's trying to poke past this. Onto the 4v3 CT side is now completely spread out. Looks like the CTs are boosted on truck right now, which is interesting. Gives you a good angle on both bathrooms and long. TJ tries to take a peek here, but... Cyborg's looking to set up for a B hit with uh, TJ selling a fake here on the Lurk. We know TJ is a very ineffective Lurk, always behind them. Oh, we just let it happen. Gets taken out by Toxic, and TJPF gets the flank kill, or the Lurk kill onto TJ. Knows he's the flank, but I think, I believe this should be a save here. Not enough money. But they do have oh. kits. Smoke and flash here. I mean, they could be going for it. Oh, Snapple gets blinded. Kind of got scared and decided to spray his MP9. Oh, TJPF onto the refrag there, but decides to save anyway. Yeah, Got the I don't think he knows no, how low the T's are. If he does, then I don't know, this retake is looking really enticing, even though it is 2v1. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, Ancient's the decider. Interesting, interesting. So, uh, kind of speaking about um, just overall the, I guess, side of uh, Overpass, I guess, uh, Supposed to be CT sided, but we saw Xenon Zars post up seven. Even on my own team, we posted multiple rounds on the T side, definitely. If you can get the ball rolling, you can just kind of just snowball effect it down. Yeah, I don't think people should take too much stock in what, you know, people say is CT or not CT sided. Because, uh, you know, technically every map is CT sided, but of course, match to match, that'll vary, and at different ranks, that'll vary. Oh! Toxic onto the first kill. Oh, he's in no. his own molly, the one the he had. Oh, and no. is getting spammed through his uh through the wall there by TJ, I believe. And that is connector stack. So they did pick up an AK there, one for one trade, and this favors Xenon here, as all they had were pistols and almost like no armor. Uh, excuse me, that's two AKs actually. One for just let it happen. I believe he saved that from last round. But oh, boss flings out, gets the first kill into dumpster fire. Assassin doubles up, keeps it calm. And cool. 2v, uh, 2v3's uh, retake here for the Xenon Zars. Bomb is planted down. And they're just slightly saving, having a fun time on the playground here. Oh, yeah. Can't blame them. Although, uh, you better be careful. Those slides get real hot in the summer. Not sure when there's a bomb roughly 400 feet away. I mean, that's still quite a while away, but you know, a bomb is a bomb, so. Full buy looking like for the Xenon Zars here. Another full buy for the Cyborgs, I believe. But an op onto Ross. Now, once again, pointing this out, Ross is a monster on this op. We'll see what he can do with it on the CT side here of Overpass, but we know what he can do, and it's very scary. So we'll see what the Cyborgs here have to stop it. Interesting flash by Amp Bowers. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Amp Bowers. Ross onto the refrag. I believe that should have been an insane flick. Ross, oh, CJPF kills Wolf in 24k. Got his map completely secured for just oh. let it happen. He takes out TJ through the smoke and assassin onto the 1v4. The GM of the of uh, ATL, I believe, left alone. Trying to see what he can do, using the hole in the door for his own advantage. Trying to spot any jump spots, doesn't see anything. 
no no sword pushes, but Ross is up behind him. Ooh. Oh, assassin with an insane turn. Check him, PC, please. There's no way or no reason for assassin to just completely turn around and demolish Ross like that. Makes a yeah. snap. Doesn't After that, work. it looks like they're going to try... Uh, it looks like gas is not going to give them anything, really. Uh, I mean, they're all just playing really safe here. You know, tucked into your creedy, one playing jail, one playing divider. They don't want to give him another free kill like that. My god, with these fake flashes, Assassin is trying to use every <laughs> trick in the book. Making a lot of noise. 35 seconds left, has to get the bomb here. He also has to commit to his fight. He can't toss a fake on the other side of the map unless he throws some very wonky lineups. But he look at here, just let it happen, pushing into monster, oh, assassin, no. bomb out, gets caught yeah. out with his pants down and just let it happen with a double insane push thing. Yeah, and that was a I mean that was a great CT round from Xenon Zars. They just kind of tore them apart. I mean, obviously Ross with that double up near fountain. He gets that excellent flash peek from uh, his teammate. He gets the open kill, and then even with the unexpected uh, kind of close player, he gets the trade. Like a B rush here uh, with uh, Wolf and 24k pushing out connector and maybe trying to cut off any rotates. Toxic leaving the charge. Mac 10 out trying to make it sing. Dumpster fire kills, just let it happen. Toxic doesn't get anything. CJPF gets a kill into dumpster fire. Snapple K takes out Toxic. One more onto site. CJPF spots him out. Snapple spam it through the smoke. It's taken out by TJ. That is bombed down. CJPF left alone on an island here. Sees one in under heaven. Needs to relo reload that M4. And they hear it. CJPF needs to stay alive here for team to be able to retake. Spamming through the wood doesn't get any damage done. Both he's on site here. CJ doesn't get the first kill. Ross with the no scope onto Assassin. A beautiful oh. round by the cyborgs <laughs> there. But Xenon Zars holding it down and a good retake there. Put the bomb plant down for the cyborgs. Gives him plenty of money to work with. Onto Assassin and TJ and Dumpster Fire. Wolven 24k and Toxic. Not so much. They needed to save a little bit more but what more can you really do yeah with the amount of times we've seen mac 10s this game i wouldn't be surprised if yeah there's one and toxic will get the glial and uh, light armor which i mean the glial is glial is just a cheap m4 i mean <laughs> like that thing is overpowered oh assassin going for like the wall bang? Toxic wall bang yeah barely misses out bower here the connect player swings out gets taken oh, by <laughs> wolf and wolf and just holding w like yeah, just jumping around, monkeying about, wolfing. Not stopping, just full W. He knows that he has all this space. He decides to smoke it off. Ross here. This is the first flick. He's left alone here. Nope. Two players on the truck side. Gets taken out by Wolf 24k. Snap on CJPF here. CJPF gets the first. Has to reload. Wolfen still here. Front bathroom. They are looking to re, re uh, position to short here, but just let it happen. Once again, we know how he likes to take his space. Make sure they can't rotate. And he hears him. Doors open. Here's the scope. Here's the fire. No, no. Oh, that shot definitely should have scared him. He's just kind of quivering there, kind of crouching down, making sure he can't be spotted. Wolfen trying to see if there's anyone or anything he can get here on the A site. Just let it happen. Catches a timing, maybe? Does. Walking up connector. He hears the scope divider. We see TJ Gotta walking up towards the bathroom. That's Oof. the bomb! 33 seconds left. Oh, just let it happen. Gets a double kill from behind and south of the TJ who pushed up along here. Even if he gets these two kills here and win the round. CJPF, instant headshot. Wonderful hold by the Xenon Zars. Yeah, and that was great by just let it happen. It's kind of. Sneaking up, and of course the A1S, you know, the guy on Flower Pot doesn't even realize where Assassin died from, so. You know, just really well done, generally. Um, and again, you'll see the T's kind of forced onto pistols here. Trying to play for the, trying to play for that 14 uh, straight win, but Ross onto the kill onto Assassin. Gets Ooh. taken out. Just it wasn't expecting them to just be on piss with CJP. I could still on to TJ the lurk. Then Bowers kills on to 20, uh, Wolf and 24k. Repositions, dumpster fire. Gonna take a peek here. Here's reload. Holy friend. Doesn't get the first kill, but Toxic onto the op. Not known to be an op or scopes in. Ooh. Gets the first kill. That is a lot of damage done, even if it's only two kills. So damage done. He can also toss away this op, forcing Ross to reinvest into the AWP.
Let's go recollect bomb here. And uh, just let it happen once again. Knows when to take this space. What more can you really ask for uh, your uh, B site anchor slash rotator? You know, at least one of them has to start pushing here. And uh, yeah, cuts off the rotation from monster. All they have to worry about is short. And uh, Snapple tucked into long corner here. Not making a single peek. Toxic pulls out the op, pulls out his knife. Snapple can see the A1S barrel here, though. Unless he's tucked into the corner. He's got, Does he see oh, it? He he's part of the angle. Gets the first kill. That's Snapple down. That is A side taken now. And here's the rotations. 3k. This will be an ace clutch for Toxic. Decides to reposition to bank. Does he hear one? must have heard him, I think. Flash out of barrels. Here's both here. That's the scope. Now they hear it. <gasps> Gets one. One v one clutch. Oh! With the ace clutch on an eco. I mean, that was. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't say it earlier. I, I said I was about to say earlier that, you know, four v two. They only have one gun on T side. Uh, you know, xeonzar has got this one in the bag. But uh, I mean, that was just really well done to isolate those duels by Toxic. Um, and you know, when you got no armor and only an off, that's what you got to do. I mean, they gave the, uh, the Cyborg Shell a lot of money to work with, but they had to reinvest it. Ross misses his first shot, and also flubs the flash here. Has to fall back Toxic, drops the op over to Assassin, picks up the AK. Maybe he should be the main opera, who knows. Get into this bathroom position. Bathroom's completely vacated, yeah. Xenon giving up that bathroom's control, but we have here. You're just playing for a retake, Snapple. Retake it for short here. Any flashes, that is dumpster fire alone in short. Gets taken out by CJPF and just let it happen. And Toxic kills Ross, going for the jump spot. Already up here. Oh, Toxic, the double entry. First the ace clutch and then the double entry onto side here. Wolf in 24k. Stepping up here. And it's looking like another round for the Cyborgs here. The scoreline looking to be 13 11. And it is a very competitive scoreline. Yeah, uh, I mean, I just. Solid take by uh, Cyborg there. I mean, the, the critical moment, I mean, we saw right there is just when Ross drops that first shot. I mean, he's been really consistent with these openings, and when he misses that first shot, you can really tell it makes a difference. Um, you know, not having that free 5v4 at the beginning of the round really obviously hurts your chances. But, um, yeah, I mean, you can see how fast they gave the... You know, CTs gave up that bathroom control after... Uh, Ross misses that shot. I mean, it's just so much just from one moment, really. Well, going back uh, to my earlier statement, uh, the T side here on overpass, and it goes for almost every map, uh, while all these maps may be considered CT side, especially with the A1S, once you get the ball rolling on T side, once you get that momentum, it's kind of hard to stop it. And uh, I know a lot of teams are like that, especially here in CSC. Uh, once they keep going, they cannot stop. And we are seeing, I believe, a tactical timeout. If I can, uh, if my Nady can observe, or if our observer Nady can confirm if it is attack order. Yep. And it is attack here, yep. <laughs> kind of, kind of review what's going on here. The first attack we've actually seen within the, within the match. We didn't see one on Inferno, we didn't see one until now. And it's over, let's see what they, uh, what they came up with. Yeah, let's see what they've been cooking. <laughs> what the rock is cooking. Exactly. Very pop very popular scoreline, but oh. Five man fountain rush with a one piece of utility being tossed out. CGPF not leading the charge. Let's have the AK. Yeah, they just stacked up here, but it's a B push. Very, very late B push and they kinda just read it from 24k on the lurk here. Oh Ross, I don't even see him in the map. That's another AK picked up. That's three AK or two AKs and a rifle. This is a 5v4 retake. And while it's unlikely to happen, it I believe they are going to go for it. They don't want to give up any more rounds and give the cyborg more momentum to work with. There's no kit. It's not looking too great for the CTs here. Passing with a nice flick and sees the feed, but oh. gets taken out. And Ross kills out Toxic. Now it's a 2v4 situation. TJ, under heaven, by wood. Has to clear up all these angles and spots the boost. No, there's one more. TJ Pimp gets stuck to her five. TJ, onto the one view. They have time to defeat. They, they should have time. 
No kit, but they should have time, yes. It's gonna be close. Oh my god. You wouldn't have thought it was possible, won. but... Jeez. But they really did lose a lot of guns series. there. They do pick up an op, they'll get up and it's a roster. Once again, 22 and 20, 94 ADR. Having a lot more deaths, but still posting up a good amount of kills. Toxic, 27 and 21, 118 ADR. Doing as much as he can for his team. It's now rifle on top of rifle, but with dumpster fire only on a tech 9. Very interesting to see that, as they did have bomb plant down, but maybe not enough to force, say, a, a Galil. Lost his favorite angle. Gets the first kill. We all knew he was good for that's Toxic down. Ren Bauer takes out Dumpster Fire. 3v5 situation. Wolf in 24k stuck in connector. And Ren Bauer still, I think, is close by to hear it. Flashed out. Oh, Assassin takes out Ren Bauer. He was playing towards, close towards uh, the Viter there. And Assassin. Gets taken out by Ross, playing by by Rock or Tree there. 2v4 situation, TJ and Wolf in 24k just had a happen. Spots the toes of TJ and takes him out from jail. Wolf in 24k onto the clutch here. Can he pull off another toxic uh, ace clutch? Maybe not ace, it is a 4k, but... Oh, Ross has got the vision on him, he's got, he's got the read now. Oh, and there it is. an insane hold, yep. That is fitting for the Xenon Zars. Oh, Ooh. and the BM there, the T-Bag. Oh no, but yeah, Ross no. does everything there. Really, it feels like I mean, you know, you see Toxic flub the flash on the bathrooms there, which I mean, that's just a free kill for Ross at that point. And then uh, Assassin tries to flash peek him out long, but he is alone. He's I don't know, Ross just manages to get the kill really. Um, and oh, the connection okay, there, we're yeah, good, we're good. very very good. But Ross, <laughs> and then oh, for his opening peek here. Oh, it's the yeah. first. That's that's not what you want to see on a 15-11 scoreline. Oh, oh, here's no. the one close to Ross. Gets the double. And the decider is ancient, but it's looked like we're not going to be there yet. Wolfen picks up the AK. Ross should have spotted it. Doesn't. Wolfen 24 gets a count to Ross there, but that's still a main advantage for the CTs there. For Xenon, 2v4 situation. Macton onto TJ. Picks up the op. Everyone's wanting to be an opper now. They want to pull off the toxic. They want to pull up the toxic uh, ace clutch here again, dropping the bomb, trying to pick up, or trying to take as much space as they can here. But see, uh, Snapple, but deep into long here by uh by Cubby, I believe. Wolfing up by party, trying to spot out whatever he can. Drops the noise and empowers, <laughs> takes him out, and TJ left in the one v four to keep his team here. Can't find a single kill. It is looking like a done deal for the Xenon Zars to win the semifinals. Molly onto TJ and 40, 40 seconds left on the clock. It's ideally impossible. It's 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 already over. I'm calling it Caster's Curse. I don't care. It's over. Yeah, I mean, the, there have been some great plays by Cyborgs in this map, especially, but this one's looking like a bit much to ask of TJ here. Yep, yeah, that'll be it. Just let it happen. Takes him out. Well, that is it for the CSC Season 9 Elite Semifinals. I've been your host, Nexus, and I'm here with my co-caster, Zyra, and Observer, Nady. Uh, be sure to check out the other A and C streams for uh, a challenging game, playoffs game. I believe it is the quarterfinals, or if uh, A stream is still up, the contender grand finals. We'll see you around. Thanks for watching. Thanks.